What's up, people? This is, uh, what are we sipping tonight? Got some William Dalton weeded bourbon. It's a uh, 78% corn. That makes it, that makes it bourbon. 28% wheat, 18% malt. This is Indiana. Anyway, old Dalton made some bourbon. Weeded bourbon. If you don't know anything about weeded bourbons, I don't know much about weeded bourbons. Uh, other than uh, Makers. Makers is the uh, probably the world's most famous weeded bourbon. Perhaps you didn't even know that was a weeded bourbon. You've just been drinking Makers. But anyway, it's good shit. It, 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 it tastes pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Now, I did put a splash of water in that. So anyway, that's what, that's what we're drinking tonight. Now, what did we get in the mail today? Look, I got somebody else's YouTube video playing on the TV. He's hiking. Look at him. He's hiking. I don't know who this guy is, but I've been watching him all afternoon. Yeah. And so we got this uh, Dometic CFXX375DZ powered cooler DZ being dual zone. So you got a dual zone. It can either be fridge, 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 freezer, freezer, freezer. I have no reason to have. I need for two freezers. So, I've got, oh, that shit, that's just pretty cold. 37 degrees in the fridge and uh, 18 degrees in the freezer. And yep, yeah, there's a Bluetooth, so there's an app on the phone. It took, took, took me a minute to figure that out, but anyway. So, fridge, huh? pretty cool, got a little divider. Rack. I, I don't understand dividers. I don't really use dividers. I, uh, I, I usually just stack a bunch of shit in there. But that's that's me. You may you may need a divider. I don't know. There's there's one there. So, oh, we got uh we got latches like latchet handles. Just so like when you close it. Oh, you heard it click. And then you gotta, you gotta unclick it. You gotta click it and unclick it. All right. So here's our freezer. I like these little lights. I can see in the uh, in the fridge without a light. Although this phone camera has a light, which is lighting everything up too. So that's kind of fucking up my video. But anyway, they got a plug down here, and it just pulls right out. It's got look. It's got two little O-rings, little clear O-rings there uh, that goes to the floor. I don't know. Maybe it has it. Let's see. Let's see what it says. On, what it has on the bottom? Close the freezer. Look at that. Close. Oh, I like these handles. Watch. Watch this handle. It got a spring. It got springs in it, so it always stays down. Let's see where that plug goes. Ah. Uh, that's that's the that's the plug. It's just the hole. So I'm gonna hook a hose to it, and then we can drain. Damn, that thing's loud. I don't know. I mean, I don't know that I never did drain it. And maybe I thought cleaning it, washing it out with a water hose. Maybe you can wash it out with water. Hose. I don't know. I don't know. So I ordered this thing right for like overlanding and shit yeah so i'm gonna be an overlander <laughs> i've been an overlander all my life and didn't even realize it i didn't realize it was a word for what i did driving and camping so anyway this this little thing it's got this is right here is this 110 this is a 110 plug um it's a 90 degree plug but if you if you were to unplug this 
and look at it, it's the same thing as a PC power cord. It's just a power cord. So it doesn't need to be this cord. It can be whatever. It can be a, a power cord from your computer. Uh, this is DC. Got a notification that my battery's about to die on my phone. So DC, uh, this plug is somewhere. I don't know where it is. Oh, I hope it's not in the box because I didn't put all the trash in the box. But anyway, you got this plug and this is DC. So it's got this connection on it and the other end is like the cigarette lighter connection. So anyway, I don't know. That's it, man. It just came in today. I've heard really great things about it. That freaking, that freaking handle badass. I mean, that's that's damn near dangerous. Um, but anyway, no, I heard I heard good stuff about it. Uh, so we'll have to just uh, we'll see. I'm I got a camping trip this weekend. I think I'm going camping with my kids, my uh, my eldest daughter and, and uh, her husband and her kids. Uh, and then I think my youngest son is coming. I'm not real sure. Um, so anyway, that's that. That's the uh, Dometic. 75 Ugh, sorry had to get up 75 quart dual zone powered cooler yeah that's it there it is it's the glacier electrique quay glacier electrique I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's Canadian. That's Canadian for glacier electric. Electric glacier. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that's Canadian for electric glacier. Which I don't know. This is, is this an electric glacier? Maybe so. I don't know. Mobile living made easy. Powered cooler. Navara Partelatil Electrica. All right. Well, I'm going to leave here, here. Look, I'm going to let y'all see this. Here we go, let's go. We are going, can you, is it focusing? Why is it not focusing? There we go, now I got it focusing. All right, there you go. That's all of the language printed on the box. I'll let y'all translate that. Cause I don't feel like doing that. I'm not doing that. Oh wait, 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 we got this stuff right here. It wouldn't be a good video if I didn't put this on there, right? I have to have like some stuff. So the CFX CFX three seventy five DZ powered cooler, seventy five quart dual zone. Dimensions, uh, weight, depth, height. 35.12 inches. I'm assuming these are in inches. Up, oh, yep, there's the IN, which means inches, by 19.49. So that's 19 and a half for you less than whatever math people. By 18.58. So it's a little over 18 and a half inches because we're looking at this, right? That's the half. Eight it means it's 0.6 if we're rounding up. Eh. Product width without handle, 32 and three quarter inches. So if I took those handles off, it would be uh, 32 inches. Look at that. Look at them toes. That's some sexy ass toes. I don't even know. They are. I don't know. Uh, let's see the weight on this thing and get that to focus again. So the weight 
is 61 and a quarter pounds. Holy fuck, I gotta lift that? I'm gonna put that in the back of my truck. All right, so amount of cans. That's like a standard measurement now for coolers, uh, electric coolers, coolers, whatever. But amount of cans is 113. 68 divided by 45. I don't know what the fuck that means, but. Um, anyway, it says 113. So I'm going to say it's 113 cans. Or you know what it is? Look, there's two, is dual, where's that? Dual zone, 68.45. So I would be willing to bet good fucking money that that means that one side can fit 68 cans of beer. Oh, it just says cans, not cans of beer. So, uh, one side can fit 68, the other side can fit 45, can fit 45, so that's, that's good. And the volume, you can turn this bitch up to 75. I mean, that's, that's pretty fucking loud. I don't know where the volume knob is on it, but anyway, 75, that's, I'm, I'm thinking that's pretty, pretty badass. I got a, I got a Samsung TV in my living room. It only goes up to 60. So this one goes up to 75. So, input voltage. We got 120 AC, which is what it's plugged up to now over there. It's right over there, plugged up to, you can't see it, just black on black on black on black. And then you got a 12 volt or 24 volt DC. Now, my shit, my camping shit is set up for 12 volt. I tried 24 volt, but it, it didn't just didn't make any any fucking sense. So camping 12 volts, it's good. 12 volts is good. I mean, that's what everything runs on. I mean, unless you unless you're you know running a golf cart or something. So anyway, you got your input frequency, and we operate in between 50 and 60 hertz. Um, yeah, I don't even know what the fuck that means. Uh, believe it or not, I have my ham operator's license, but, um, this means shit. I don't know what that means. So then we got performance, uh, temperature range, minus seven degrees Fahrenheit to, uh, plus 50 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know why you want a cooler that goes to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. In my opinion, you want your shit always way colder than that. That's fucked up. I mean, that's that's like cowboy cold. I mean, you like cowboy cold? I don't like cowboy cold. Uh, insulation type, it's got PU. But that's polyurethane. Polyurethane. Yeah, PU, polyurethane. PU. That's funny. Uh, we got additional... We got certificates, um, UL. I don't like UL. I'm, I'm from Lake Charles, Louisiana. I support McNeese, uh, UL. They can get fucked. Uh, interior light is LED. Uh, USB port, 5 volt, 2 amp. Um, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, yes, we got Bluetooth. Okay, I do have a Bluetooth app. But now I'm going back to this right here, this USB port, five volt, five volt, two amp. That's got me curious. So now I gotta get up off the floor. Where is that? Where is the five volt? Earth. You at, oh, look, what is that? Found something. <gasps> Check that shit out right there. Everything got a USB on it now. I mean, everything. I mean, it's crazy. That is crazy. All right, well, so that is a, a we're going to call that a, a Dometic CFX375DZ powered cooler. 
Fuck it, we'll call it an unboxing video. How about that? We'll call that an unboxing video. We'll do a review video next week or this weekend. So far, I'm just impressed by the girth. <laughs> it's got girth and weight, weight and girth. Anyway, I'll throw that box away. I'm going to put this in my truck and we will see how it does next week. Um, how you like that?